Okay, CW fans, what we're going to be doing today is, along with our series on configuring N1MM to key the radio, um, <laughs> N1FF, how about N1MM logger? So what we're going to do is we're going to configure N1MM on the computer to be able to key our FT891. And if you've seen another one of my videos talking about connecting the 891 to your computer as well as uh, being able to do FT8 with the sound card, um, you'll know that there is a USB port on the 891, and I have the USB port, um, uh, I've got this cable plugged in to the USB port, and I've got it brought forward into the cab in my truck. The actual base unit is underneath my driver's side rear seat, and it's mounted, and I've got all the wires that come up into my center console here, and then this is the USB cable that comes up from the USB port, which is how you control the 891. So what you can do is control the 891, um, the frequency and all kinds of other stuff with that, but you can also key the radio too, which is really what we're going to focus in on. And sorry, this is it's in my truck, so I can't I don't have uh, all the cameras like I do in the shack. So we're going to just use my cell phone here like I do in a lot of videos anyways. But just like any other logging program, uh, there's probably some config spots. So I'm going to go into config in N1MM. Go to the top menu item, which is configure ports. And it looks like I already have, it looks like I was doing some kind of contest already in here. So just disregard all of that, that log stuff. Um, I was using this computer for actually I think it was uh, my last parks on the air uh, activation so um, so we need to figure out what port we have the the um, 891 is connected to so I'll type in device manager it looks like it's gonna pre-fill <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go down to ports and I'm gonna see these two at the bottom here so there's an enhanced and a standard that's kind of like a classic layout of Yezu radios and you'll notice that on my FT 101 MP and 101 D video that you get the same two ports one of them's enhanced which is the radio control and one of them standard which is what we're going to use for CW keying so we need to remember this so enhanced is 9 CW keying is 8 so I think we can memorize that so what we'll do is yeah, I was using this with my 101D apparently. So we'll go in to 9. I'm going to select my FT891. I'm going to go into my settings and just to kind of look at it. And we want to make sure on the Yezu, we can't use that same COM port for key. So I'm going to have always off on DTR and RTS. Speed, parity data bits okay that's all the same and you can kind of see at the bottom here they have suggested settings here actually it says one stop bit maybe I should change that see if that helps so let's hit OK let's just make sure that radio control works right now and lo and behold uh, 14.050.13 0.13 so radio control does work that's half of our challenge so this is this is cool so I can kind of like move move my dial and then that will actually translate into um, being able to log the mode and the frequency without me having to manually input it which is super cool now I want to key my radio and make use of some of these macros and functions and some of the automation so I don't get like completely tired and played out by manually keying the radio with my paddle which I do love to do and I do do that when I'm mobile most of the time so let's go back into the config screen here and if we recall COM8 was the COM port for, for standard and in usual Yezu fashion we, we do not put any radio information in this spot here and then the other part is we select this because we're going to use COM8 for CW. Now we have to go into the set function here. 
and it looks like we have DTR always off and RTS I think I have it looks like it's on CW but we need to do something on the radio to make sure that the radio understands that we're going to use RTS for CW keen or if we want we can use DTR for CW keen so let's go to the radio really quick here so on the radio what we're going to need to do is press and hold the function key and that's going to bring up the master menu here and we're going to use this knob to go down to let's see that we're in mode AM right there mode CW all right cool it's one of these here it looks oh yeah PC keying so PC keying if we push on this a lot of times it's off and, and we don't want it to be in the off mode we want it to be sorry about the glare there we want it to be what did we say we wanted it to be in the computer here we wanted it to be RTS so let's make sure that this is RTS so then I'll pop that in there like so. That's the only, only change that you really need to make. And then I'll press and hold that and get out of it. So now that we, we have RTS configured for CW, let's go down here and hit OK. And we'll hit OK here. And let's give it a try. Cool, I clicked K9KJ, looks like it worked. I'm gonna do it again so you can see. Oh man, I have a high SWR, I'll have to figure that out. But anyways, um, it works, everything's cool. You can adjust the, uh, the speed right there, and um, it's a beautiful thing. I'll uh, look for my other videos on other radios in case you want to be able to do CW Keen on an Elecraft, uh, an ICOM, a Yezu base station like a 101 MP. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll try to, to find a couple of other radios to uh, show you how to do this, but general principle is the same all around. So CW on my friends and uh, have fun mobile CW or whatever you're doing with Morse code.